Hey there students, it's Miss Adams, and in this video, we're going to go over lesson 1.2, displaying categorical data. All right, so the situation, a survey asked 130 Sun Lake High School students about their movie preferences. Results are below. Uh, make a bar graph and a pie chart to represent the data. All right, so we have counts, 32 people chose comedy, 46 people chose horror, so we're going to set up our bar graph. We're going to put a title, movie preference. Uh, on the side, we're going to do frequencies, which are counts. Uh, on the bottom, we're going to put the genres. And then we need to decide what we are going to count by. So our largest number is 46. So I went ahead and counted by four so that I could fit um, enough on there. All right, so then I labeled my different genres, comedy, horror, drama, action, and documentary. And we are just simply gonna go up to 32 for comedy, 46 for horror, 15 for drama, 27 for action, and 10 for documentary. And that's a bar graph. All right, so to make a pie chart or circle graph, um, we have to get the percentage and then um, the central angle. So the percentage is the relative frequency, so I have to divide by the total. So 130 total students were asked, so I'm going to take each value, divide by 130, and get a decimal. So 0.246 or 24.6% uh, are comedy. I could get the angle of that pi section, that sector, by multiplying 0.246 by 360 degrees, which is 88.56 degrees. And so if I was using a protractor, I could be a little bit more precise here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just say, well, 24.6 is kind of close to about 25-ish percent. So I'm going to take about a quarter of my circle up with comedy. And I'm going to label it with the percentage 24.6%. Horror is 46 out of 130, which is 0.354. If I multiply that by 360 degrees, I get 127.44 degrees. Okay, so this is an obtuse angle. Um, and about it's about a third of the um, pie chart. So 35.4%. Drama is 15 out of 130. 11.5%. And that'd be a 41%. 0.4 degree angle. So I'm going to draw that there. Action 27 out of 130 is 20.8%. So it's going to be less than our comedy section. Um, 74.88 degrees. And then our last section is documentary. So it's kind of what we're left with. 10 out of 130 is 0.077 or 7.7%. .7%, and in degrees is 27.72 degrees. And I'm going to label that section there. So there is our pie chart. So a pie chart, you want to make sure that you have it labeled each section. If you're going to use colors, make sure that the colors are identified. Or if you're going to use different patterns, what each different pattern represents. All right, a two-way frequency table, also called a contingency table. Uh, complete the information for the party identification in the table below. So we have males and females, Democrat, Independent, Republican. Um, and so we're going to fill in these missing pieces. Um, there was 1,483 total females. So if I subtract the other two numbers that were female, that leaves us with 323. So I'm just doing some subtraction. I had 1,145 total independents. If I subtract 585, I get 560. And if I add the Democrats together, I get 1,057. Draw a segmented bar graph to show the distribution of the party identification Y uh, by gender X. Hint, um, find the marginal distributions for each first. So we're going to go ahead and start and find those marginal distributions. So um, out of the total, the table total, 2,982, we're going to do female Democrats. So 574 out of 2,982 gives us 0.193 or 19.3%. And I'm going to do that for each of these, uh, taking each value in that cell and dividing it by the table total of 2,982. Um, 
again. So that's just kind of what that looks like there to get the marginal. So in the margins means it's coming from like the margins is where the total columns are. All right, so I'm going to put a title on my segmented bar graph, party identification, um, uh, my frequencies here I'm counting by two. These are going to be percent, so relative frequency. And then for sex, I'm going to have male and female, and then I'm going to have the different categories. So um, female, may, um, or Democrat, Independent, Republican. So for female, that 19.3%, 19.6%, and 10.8%. Male, we had 16.2%, 18.8%, uh, and 15.3%. So this is very similar to a stacked bar graph. So you can take one big bar out of 100% and divide it up um, or put them side by side. So a side by side bar graph or segmented bar graph um, also could be stacked to be segmented. All right, and then I'm just kind of labeling here um, the Democratic Party, the Independent Party, and the Republican Party. All right, see you next time, and thanks for watching.